Welcome to TN Blue tutorial series. In this video, we will show you some detailed steps on how to work with the artwork and print area correctly to set up this mug on your Shopify store. So when you have orders of some mugs and send them to providers, how do they print them? Here is an example. Most fulfillment providers use the wraparound method to print on the outside of the mug. Let's take a look at this video to see how the print machine works. That's why the mug's print area is usually in a horizontal rectangle shape and does not divide into front or back. Okay, so let's start our first step. Go to product base page. There are two ways to create a product base. The first way is importing directly from provider's catalog. In product base page, click on import product button. I will find and choose a mug from Printful. Here are two print areas for two types of mugs which are 15 ounces and 11 ounces. We will prepare two artworks according to these sizes. Scroll down to see the variant table. If you choose the mug from our integrated fulfillments providers like Printful, the print area is automatically connected to the correspondent variant. When your customers place an order with a variant, the order design can be generated in the correct print area size. The second way is creating product manually. Click on New Product button. You need to add some mock-up image, print areas, and variants. For example, I want to sell two types of mug. I will add print area for each type. and create two variants in the variant table. Remember to enable the custom variants print area toggle. and select correct print area for each variant in this column. The next step is to prepare artworks that can be printed on this mug. As we mentioned at the beginning, the mug's print area is usually in a horizontal rectangle shape. Here, I've prepared two artworks according to two print area sizes. Let's begin with the 11-ounce size. There is the template guideline from Printful that I use as a temporary background to make sure my artwork fits. This artwork contains a layer for the dog breed and its name on the left side, and a quote design on the right side. I will allow my customer to choose their dog breeds, change its name, and let them choose to hide or show the quote. For the artwork of 15 ounce mug, the design is pretty similar. The size and ratio between these artworks are not so much different, so you can use the same artwork for all print areas. I will show you how in the next step. Now, my two artworks for two variants of this mug are ready. Let's move to campaign page. Firstly, I will create a new campaign. And choose the mug I've imported. Two print areas from product base has shown up. There are also two ways to connect artwork to these print areas. The first way is using different artworks for each print area. 
In this way, I will add each artwork I've created to each correspondent print area. Each artwork will fit its print area perfectly because it was created with matched print area size. The other way is using the same artwork for all print areas. For example, I can use the 11 ounce artwork for the 15 ounce print area. Then use the locate artwork button here to resize the artwork to fit this print area. The last step is to set up some mock-up images. These are some mock-up images that Printful has provided us. They only show the left side of the mug. But I want my mock-up look more realistic and attractive, so that I will upload my own image which shows the other side of the mug. Like these photos. After I upload an image, the mock-up editor will show up. Then click on Add Print Area button to add the correct print area to the mock-up. Then I will use the feature Enable Mask to crop the print area. Click on Edit Mask and adjust the green mask to show the dog on the left. Then only the part within the green area will appear, the right side will be hidden. I will add another 11 ounce print area and mask it to show the quote on the right side. I will follow the same step with the mock-up images for 15-ounce mug. I have deleted some mockups from Printful and added more of my own images here. Now, the campaign is ready to be launched. On the store front, mockups and personalization form will show up according to the selected variant. This is the end of this tutorial video. We hope our instruction can help you with your campaigns. If you guys have any question, feel free to contact us. Don't forget to like and subscribe TN Blue YouTube channel to get more tutorial videos in the future.